Good morning, dear champions, grade 8, here is the S. And today, our lesson is for Unit 6, close up, use your English lesson. Here, we are going to talk about some phrasal verbs. And as you can remember, as we said before, phrasal verbs, they are some verbs that are followed by a preposition and they have a new meaning or new expression to give us. So here, we are going to study six new phrasal verbs. The first one is set off. Set off. Let's take. What does it mean, set off? Set off, it means to start a journey. Set off means to start a journey. Set up. Oh, it's the same verb, set. But the preposition here is different. So the meaning will be different. Set up. And set up means to prepare something to use, to prepare something to use. And you can find this one is regularly used with us when we say, I will set up a program on my computer. So here, prepare something to use. And then we have take over. Take over. Take over means to take responsibility of something or to begin to control something in place of someone. So here, take over, begin to have control or responsibility of something. And then we have date up, date up. Of course we know the verb date that we can make something like a hole in the ground. But here, date up, it means to remove something, remove something from the underground or from the ground that was buried. So here, and then put off, put off, put off means to discourage someone, to make him disappointed. So here put off means discourage, it means discourage. And then we have die out, die out means to disappear or become extinct. Like when we are talking about pandas, we can say pandas will die out very soon to become extinct or disappear. So here, that was about some present verbs and I want you to be careful of this verb set. Set. Be careful of the spelling. S-E-T. S-E-T. The past form of this verb is set as well, which is S-E-T. S-E-T. And the past participle form of this one, the same, S-E-T, set, set, set. It's different from the word or the verb set, which is S-I-T, which is S-I-T, the anthem of stand, set, this one, S-I-T, and the past of this, set, S-A-T, this is for the verb set, which is S-I-T, so don't get confused, please. And then, here we have a kind of exercise using present verbs to complete the sentences. So here we have to think of the meaning of the sentence first and then choose the correct present verb to complete the sentence. Some scientists say that the human race will space and a comet hits the earth. Let's think about this word, a comet. A comet. Comet, it means a strange star or a strange rock in the space that can hit a planet, that can hit a planet. So what happened? What will happen? If this comet hits the Earth, of course it will damage the planet. So what will happen to the human race? It will disappear. And what does it mean? It will die out. Die out. And then here, somebody else will have to space the museum after the manager quits. So here the manager quits, the manager will stop working. So here, of course, someone will take responsibility to manage the museum. So he will take over. He will take over. And then here, the technicians space the computers at the excavation site. So they need to use computers. So they need to prepare this equipment. 
So they need to set up. Set up. Number four, we stay on our tour around the Acropolis early on Saturday morning. We stay on our tour around the Acropolis early on Saturday morning. So here, uh, we need to start something. We need to start a journey. We need to start a trip. So we need to set off. Set off. Number five. The main difficulties that archaeologists face space him the project. Oh, he has many difficulties. He became disappointed. He was discouraged. So the difficulties put him. Put him off. Put him off. Then they space this ancient green pot in your granddad's field. So here, your granddad's field, and this one ancient green pot. So we need to remove it from the ground. It was buried in the ground, so we need to get it out. So here, we need to dig up. Dig up. And the second part of our use of English lesson today is the word building. The different forms of the words. Verb, noun, adjective. So here we can find the verb theorize. The noun is theory and the adjective is theoretical. The verb analyze. The noun is analysis and Analytical. And the verb repeat, repetition and repetitive. Prove, proof, proving. Conclude, conclusion, conclusive. Satisfy, satisfaction, satisfactory. So here, of course, we know that we can use these different forms of these words to complete the sentences in our word formation question which I ask you to use the correct form of the word to complete the sentence. And we will have a kind of exercise like this now. We will answer it together. Number one, Mr. Ricox has a space about how the pyramids were built. So here, I need a noun to complete the sentence. So, a theory. Theory about how the pyramids were built. There is no space that a king was buried in the stone. We have to do more work at the excavation site. So here we need to use a noun as well, and it will be proof. It will be proof. A researcher must have good space skills. Oh, I have the word skills, and this is a noun. So we need to use an adjective to describe this noun. So here we will use analytical skills. Analytical skills. I think we should space the tests on money because a mistake was made during the first ones. So here I think we should space. So when we use should, we need to use the infinitive form of the verb. So we need a verb and it will be written. The researchers took four weeks to reach a poem. What? To reach? Ha! A noun as well. Conclusion. I had a lot of questions, but the scientists' answers were not. I need an adjective because here, if you can remember, we said that we can use the adjective to describe a noun or it comes after verb to be. And here, this one is verb to be. Wherein? So here we need an adjective and it will be satisfactory. But never worry, don't get confused. In the test or for regular questions, you will find the word which you are going to change its form is written next to it each sentence. Okay? The word will be written next to each sentence, but you will have to change the form of the word. You will not use it as it is. And here we have two questions. We will answer them after we read the text that we are going to complete now. Okay? Who was King Philip II? What did archaeologists find? So 
today we are going to read a text about King Philip II and we will answer some questions about this text after we finish it by these two questions and during reading we will fill in space with the correct words. And this type of text is MCQ multiple choice question. But here they are not separated sentences. They are in a text. They are in a text. So here we have a strategy to answer this one. First, we have to read the whole text to understand what's the main idea of the text. Then, we will read each sentence separated and try to check which word will fit the space. And then think if this word makes sense or doesn't make sense. And be careful, check what kind of word are you going to use. Is it a verb, noun, pronoun, adjective, and so on. So here, King fell in the second stone. In 1977, Manuel Andreas, a well-known archaeologist, made one space the most important archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. He found a burial site, space the ancient Macedonians. And here the word Macedonians, it means the native people for Macedonia, the country. Had space King Philip II the father of Alexander the Great. Andronicus wasn't the first to show interest in King Philip's tomb. As archaeologists space been analyzing the area in Greece, space, the 19th century, in the hope of digging space, the valuable items that lay within. The question we still need to ask space though, is there or not? There is a sufficient proof to conclude that the tomb is actually that of King Philip II. However, there is space be no doubt that the tomb remains one of the most significant archaeological finds in the world. So here what I did now, I read the whole text at the beginning and then we will return and we will go back to each separated sentence. So number one here. This well-known archaeologist made one space the most important archaeological discoveries. So one of, one of, because here I consider the word one as a measuring word, and when I use a measuring word, I will say one of, kind of, a bottom of, just like this. And number two, he found that your site, the ancient Macedonians had King Philip II. So here, your site, it's a place. So I need to use a relative pronoun related to place, which is where. And then we have here, had. And after had for the past perfect simple, we use the past participle form of the verb. And there it is. The king, King Philip II. And then to go to number four, Andronicus wasn't the first to show interest in King Philip's stone as archaeologists space been analyzing. So I'm talking about action wasn't progressive in the past. So here had been, had been. And someone can tell me why I didn't use where and where together with that. Gerald form of the verb that gives me progressive in the past. Don't forget that here we have past participle form of verb to be. So I will use had been analyzing. The area in Greece, the 19th century. And here we have the 19th century, it's a specific time. So we have to use since before this one. Since the 19th century. Okay. And then, area since the 19th century, in the home of digging, this one, one of the present verbs that we have studied now, digging up, digging up. And then here, the question we still need to ask. Oh, can you remember the pronouns, the lesson to pronounce for grammar? We need to ask here, 
the object is the same as the subject. So here we need to ask ourselves. We need to ask ourselves. And then, however, their space be no doubt. However, they can be no doubt. And let's check our answers. Yes, they are correct. Okay, so here these are the answers and the reasons for these answers. Okay, if we go back to our two questions before the test, who was King Philip the second? He was huh? the father of Alexander the Great. And what did archaeologists find? That their site where ancient Macedonians had their King Philip the second. And this is the end of our lesson today. I hope you feel free to send me your questions on Plus Dojo. I'm available all the time and try to answer the homework of Use Your English in your Closer workbook. And later, I will send you the answers on Plus Dojo for the homework. Wish you best of luck and never stop learning. Thank you.